Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I've got a bit of a pawn shop mystery. The other day I stopped by one of my favorite pawn shops and they had received a kind of a bucket of odds and ends tools. Um, I ended up buying this guy here, um, enough said about that, and as part of the deal I was able to get these tools here for free. I just kind of did my usual pile up on the countertop and, and uh, they tossed them in on the deal. Um, which, by the way, the deal was, was already pretty good. But, uh, so what did I get? I got this. Um, this is just, it's an SAE Eklund uh, short uh, Allen wrench set. Um, some automotive wire. This was actually sealed in the package. The package was pretty gross. This is 12 gauge um, and always comes in handy. Um, I got a couple of utility knives. This is a hide. This is an auto or a retract auto retract one. You can see that it's got a bit of a, a damage right there. This the Basically that was just a little tiny tab that broke off. There's nothing really wrong with it. In fact, that's about what it did. In fact, this is a real short, um, a short blade, uh, as you can see. That's a decent little thing. I don't know, 10 bucks new. Uh, classic old Stanley, one of their 99Es, always worth having another one of those around. Um, but anyway, the goodies that kind of led me to kind of clutter it up, first of all was this. Uh, you probably recognize this right away as a snap-on screwdriver. Maybe you do or not. This is their electronics one. Um, I have one of these. I really like it. I like that they added the uh, knurling. I wouldn't mind a little bit more knurling. It's not like, I'm, oh, you know, they're hard to clean or anything. Um, and the blade tip was pretty good. So that's always nice. There's a little bit right there, but overall still totally serviceable. But then there was this, and this was the mystery. So obviously you can see kind of the classic snap-on handle, SP, is that an 88A? Um, you know, looks great. Uh, Phillips, looks like a number three Phillips, um, but under closer inspection, this is not a snap-on shaft. In fact, this has that classic chrome vanadium stamped into it that none of the snap-on tools have. This is not bead blasted. This is painted, and the, the tip just isn't as refined, so I thought I'd compare it with a few others. Um, so this is what an actual number three snap-on tip looks like today. Uh, because this isn't an original, this was re obviously inserted in there, so I don't know if that happened on a truck or if somebody did it themselves or what. Um, but you can see there's a lot more detail. The bead blasting, the chrome's better, they've got the little tiny um, cuts into the side of the of the wings. You know, and if you look, nothing. I mean, it's, it's just not that great. Um, getting some discoloration on it because of whatever the material is. Get that focus better underneath there, um, as you can see. So the chrome is just super duper thin. Uh, this is the same, roughly the same handle here. Um, the, almost all of them now have some sort of a, um, uh, a hex shaft that you can insert a wrench onto. Um, even the smaller ones there, again, exactly the same when I look at the, the shaft, the way it's inserted into there. Uh, you know, something's weird. But anyway, that is not a snap-on screwdriver. It's a snap-on handle. That'll always come in handy. But I, I'm just curious why or how this happened. How would somebody have had a screwdriver shaft that they wanted to insert into a snap-on handle? Because um, you can easily just take this to a snap-on truck and they'll swap it out for you. Uh, so I don't know. But, you know, this, as I've mentioned in other videos, you know, the chrome, anything that looks like a snap-on handle that has chrome vanadium on the shaft is not a snap-on screwdriver. So you've got to see the logo to be sure. Clear as day right there. So I don't understand how that happened. If you've got any ideas, let me know. But that looks like a snap-on screwdriver, but is not. It's a snap-on handle and some other off-brand. I, I don't even have anything like this. It's a painted and um, 
and has chrome vanadium on there. It's not the kind of stuff I, I play around with. But anyway, let me know what you think about this mystery. And with that, Doc out.